What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a PU tier match against my boy Blake from Twitter. Uh, if you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Discord, Facebook, or Twitter. Links as always are in the description below. As well as my team sets and information are down there if you guys get curious. I'm using a really fun team that I whipped up around Electivire and Swoobat. I got this strategy from uh, Weedle Twin Needle on YouTube. I'll leave a link to his YouTube in the description as well. Basically, the idea is to set up Electric Terrain with Electivire, then bring in Swoobat with the Electric Seed. Normally, a Mon with Electric Seed gets a plus one boost to defense in Electric Terrain, but Swoobat has an awesome ability in Simple, so it actually gets a plus two boost to defense, as well as powering up Sword Power, so it actually becomes decently bulky. Um, so looking at Blake's team, he has the Quillfish, Dusknoir, uh, Absol, Lurantis, Flareon, and a Probopass. While looking at my team, I'm packing the Clefairy as my Stealth Rocker, Fistplate, Hitmonchan, we've got the Electrium Z, Electivire, Cacturn, which honestly is probably the weakest link of this team. I'm not sure how I feel about Cacturn being on the squad. Um, I might replace him at some point, we'll see. Uh, we also have the Pyroar and uh, the star of this team, which is Swoobat. So this was a really fun match, guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Clefairy as my opponent is going to lead off with Balin, <laughs> nice Hayden nickname, which is his cool fish. So um, here I just decided I'm actually going to go ahead and try to paralyze something. I wasn't sure if he would want to stay in or try to set up hazards or something. But uh, he actually goes straight for the Poison Jab here, and I am weak to that, obviously, being a Fairy-type. Lol, I actually live on 69 HP. Um, he actually poisons me there, which doesn't matter. I do have the Magic Guard ability. Um, so I'm just going to go for the T-Wave, like I said, and that's going to slow him down, as well as make him uh, have the possibility of not being able to do anything. So he's actually going to swap out here, which I thought was odd, um, because he could have just tried to kill me off with another... Uh, poison jab and I was actually just kind of leaving in Clefairy to die. I would have outsped because of the paralysis and got my stealth rocks up but he would have been able to kill me but I'm actually able to set up my stealth rocks now and keep my Clefairy which is kind of nice. Um, so I'm gonna swap out, I'm gonna bring out Simba and uh, I did this because I knew if he went for a ghost type attack or if he went for the will-o'-wisp either way it wouldn't affect me and he does try to go for the shadow sneak there. I am immune to that being part normal type as he is gonna swap um, generally Pyroar do pack the uh, Dark Pulse here, and that is exactly what I go for. He's going to bring out Flareon Height, <laughs> the Flareon, which is a pretty cool nickname. I like that a lot. Um, I actually get a crit there with the Dark Pulse. It really didn't matter in the long run in this battle, because Flareon would have been 2 hit KO'd either way, um, and I do outspeed him. So he's actually going to bring out the Absol now, and uh, he's going to take a Dark Pulse. Um, Specs Pyroar hits really hard. That's a resisted hit, guys. And uh, Stealth Rocks and the Dark Pulse brought him to around half. So this fucking Pyroar ain't playing no game. So I'm going to actually bring out my Clefairy here as he goes for the Night Slash. I'm actually able to live that on, I think, 30. And uh, like I said before, I do have the Magic Guard, so I'm not going to take any poison damage. But uh, unfortunately for me, uh, it looks like Clefairy is going to have to go down here. It would have been nice. I was actually going for the Soft Boil there to try to heal. But this is okay because uh, I really... I don't think I really need Clefairy too much in this battle, so I'm going to bring out Hitmonchan, and uh, he's obviously going to swap out here. So here, I kind of figured my safest play was going for the Ice Punch, in case he brought out the Quillfish or the Dusknoir. And uh, he decides to bring out the Quillfish, he's going to get the Intimidate, that's going to drop my attack, and obviously he resists the Ice Punch. And uh, because he's paralyzed, I cannot freeze him, so I don't know. Um, it, I don't know, it may have looked like a really dumb play, but honestly that was my safest play at this point in the battle. I'm going to obviously have to swap out here because I, I literally can't do anything <laughs> to the school fish. So I'm going to bring out Scarecrow here as he goes for the Poison Jab. I I don't know why I did this in hindsight. Um, I should have figured that he would go for the Poison Jab. I actually live it. I guess maybe I was thinking maybe he'd go for like Waterfall or something. Um, and I do have the Water Absorb. But yeah, he basically annihilates me with that Poison Jab. It almost kills me. Um, but he actually swaps here, which is weird. Um... I don't know that he really needs Quillfish anymore now that it's paralyzed, but he actually brings out <laughs> Come to Papa, which is the Dusknoir. Great nickname. Um, and it's actually a female, too. That's weird. But uh, I go for the Seed Bomb. It actually does a surprising amount of damage. I'm pretty content with that damage right there, and I kill myself to my own life orb. Um, so here, I'm just going to bring back out Simba, and uh, he's 
unable to eat berries, so if he had like a citrus berry or something on this thing, it's not going to work. So he's going to actually sack off his Flareon, which is a good play because this thing is literally... It, it dies to Stealth Rock, so he's going to sack that off, and uh, he's going to get a free switch into something else that can deal with my Pyroar. Brings out Mein Kampf, <laughs> which I don't understand the... I mean, I know what Mein Kampf is, I just don't understand why a Probopass is named that, but whatever. Not going to judge. Um, so I'm going to obviously swap out here. Here, I kind of make a... It's a little bit of a derpy play. I thought he would either set up Stealth Rocks or go for the T-Wave. But he actually goes straight for the Earth Power as I bring in my Electivire, but thankfully, Probopass does not have the greatest special attack stat in the world, um, and I actually am able to live that. So he's going to swap here for some reason. Again, I don't know why he swapped. He actually, well, I guess Earthquake probably would have done a lot. It wouldn't have killed him, though, but he would have been able to kill me. But uh, here, I'm just going to pop the Z Crystal, go for the Z Electric Terrain, which is going to give me a plus one boost of speed as he brings out his Dusknoir. So that's also going to power up my electric attacks as well. And uh, he, I believe here he just goes for the Shadow Sneak, which is totally fine. Um, basically all Electivire is here for is to set up the electric terrain. Um, so he does go for Shadow Sneak, he actually scores a crit. I don't think that crit mattered because of how low my health was. Um, and not to mention Electivire doesn't have the greatest uh, bulk in the world. So here I'm going to bring out Porky and uh, I'm going to get the plus two boost to defense from the electric seed which is perfect and uh, that's gonna allow me to take his shadow sneaks much much better and uh, I was crossing my fingers praying that he didn't crit me here and also that I didn't miss my air slash and thank god I didn't miss my air, sl my air slash and uh, that is going to kill off come to papa <laughs> um, so his next mon is the Absol, the soul train and I kinda figured that this thing probably has the sucker punch but on the, at the same time, like I didn't really want to swap into something, so I'm gonna actually have to let Porky die here, which is really unfortunate because when I was testing this team on Showdown, I got so many sweeps, <laughs> it was it was friggin' unreal. So here I'm just gonna bring out Hitmonchan, and your boy is falling way behind this battle. So here is my best play of the match. I figured he would definitely bring in Quillfish here, um, because he knows I can't touch him with Hitmonchan. I actually pull a double here into my Pyroar because I know that Specs Pyroar can absolutely annihilate this thing and it works out in my favor. He does bring out the Quillfish on that play and uh, I am sitting really pretty here so he it, even if he went out into his Proba Pass I could just swap out into my uh, my Hitmonchan so it really didn't matter. He actually goes for the Aqua Jet there but he gets fully paralyzed and uh, I think I actually would have lived in Aqua Jet um, had he gotten that off anyway. But I go for the Hyper Voice, and uh, I actually score a crit there. I don't know that that crit mattered. I don't think it did. Um, but I'll calc it after I finish recording this. But I really don't think that crit mattered at all. I'm Specs, and Quillfish has ass special defense. So here he brings out Mind Kampf, and I'm going to swap back out into Hitmonchan. And uh, at this point in the battle, Hitmonchan just goes on a little bit of a damn rampage here. <laughs> and uh, so I'm basically able to just Oko the rest of his team with Hitmonchan. I think I go for the Drain Punch here. No, yeah, I go for Drain Punch here as he brings out his Lurantis. And excuse me, I did not Oko the rest of his team. His Lurantis actually lives as Drain Punch. Um, but I'm actually able to outspeed him because he's not Scarf Lurantis. And uh, I just go for an Ice Punch, and that is going to kill off the Lurantis. His last two mons are the Probo Pass and the Absol, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Um, so Ice Punch is going to kill off the Lurantis, obviously, <laughs> super effective and everything. Um, his Lurantis could have been a problem if he was Scarfed with like Contrary Leaf Storm or whatever. I see those a lot. Um, but he's going to bring out the Absol, and earlier he outsped one of my Mons, which he shouldn't have been able to, so that kind of tells me that he was Choice Scarfed. So I'm going to just go for the Mach Punch here, and that's going to kill off the Absol. And now his final Mon is the Probo Pass and he is not going to live a plus four drain punch. I'm sorry. As bulky as pro ah, as bulky as pro pass is, he is definitely not going to live this. So that is game. Good game Blake. Fabulous battle. We'll definitely battle again sometime. And uh, yeah, so Hitmonchan the Honestly Hitmonchan was the MVP. Hitmonchan and Pyroar like put in the finest of work this battle. But uh, I think I used Hitmonchan here recently in a thumbnail, so I think I'm going to go with Pyroar this time. 
But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. Leave a like if you did. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, hit up my Discord if you guys want to battle. Links is always there in the, in the description below. I always fuck that up. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't talk right. But um, yeah, I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out.